Hello Phoebe, I hope you are all well and still smiling. So, what have you been up to? I hope you're all having fun and spending some nice time with your families. So, this is Finley, which some of you know. He is desperate for a haircut, as am I. Aren't you? And we have been going on lots of walks recently. He loves being outside, don't you? loves going to the park and chasing the birds and the ducks and we've just been spending a lot of time together haven't we Finley? yeah he's been having like extra cuddles and extra treats and extra walks <laughs> but he's loving having his family close by at home oh what else have i been doing i have been reading I've been reading a new book. It's called um, The Northern Lights and it's it's like a spin-off from the film um, The Golden Compass and I've really been enjoying that. It's really good and there's lots of adventure in it. Have you been reading at home? Where about have you been reading? Have you been reading in a tent or have you made yourself a den? You know, you could. I used to do that when I was your age. I used to get um, the couches and I used to put a blanket over it and make like a den. And um, I used to read in there or draw in there or sometimes I used to just relax in there and it was lovely. So maybe make a den at home. Maybe I should do that too. Not done that in a long time. And what else have I been doing? I've been doing some drawing. I've, I've missed doing some art just for fun. So I've been doing some of that. Now, I know some of you haven't got pencils and pens at home to do drawing, but if you do, fantastic, why don't you have a go? But if you don't, um, me and the teachers were talking the other day, me and Miss Waring. Hi, Miss Waring. We were having a lovely phone conversation, and we were remembering how nowadays children use chalk to draw on the pavement. But when we were younger, we used to just use stones or things that you found, sticks, to draw, to draw pictures. So, you know, you... You are your own box of magic. You know, you just have to dip into your box and let it shine. You do what makes you happy. It, even if it's walking a pet or reading a book or colouring or just lying in the sunshine. You know, even if that's not in a garden or it isn't a garden. Some people are very lucky and have big gardens. It, whatever makes you happy, get that little box of magic and let it spread. Now, I've seen a few of you on Purple Mash, so well done. And if you haven't had a chance to get on there, do not worry. There's still time. I put some stuff up um, every day. So there's always an opportunity to catch up and have a little bit of fun. We put some nice games on there and we have some learning on there. and It's really fun. I've set some challenges to some people on Times Table Rockstars to see if they can beat me. So let's see if you can. And if you want to set me a challenge to maybe challenge me, do it. We'll have some fun. Now, I am good at my Times Tables though, so you'll have to be quick. Now, don't worry. You're not imagining things. Finley has moved from here to here. And it's because my camera cut out. So I do apologise. So, I know you're all missing school, and um, we are missing you too. We're missing everyone at Christchurch, the staff and the children. I've been going in during the school um, days and there's not many children in and you're not missing out. I know some of you are really worried that you might be missing things at school and you're not. They're doing the Purple Mash that's, on, um, that's available to all of you. And it won't be long, you know, it's, it, it seems like forever now, but it, we'll be all back together soon, smiling and laughing and having fun with your friends and your teachers. But until then, we've got to stay strong and together we can do this. Because the weather's been so hot, my dad has been hosing the flowers and the um, garden. And the other day, oh, Finley decided to go and lie down in the mud, which he's been doing recently because it's so hot and it's a lot cooler in the mud. But he rolled around in it after dad had just watered the plants. And he was 
covered, head to toe in mud. He was a different dog. He did not look like this. Yes, I am talking about you. Um, I had to bath him. Oh, the bath was black, covered in mud. And he's looking at me going, what? What have I done? Yeah, I am talking about you, mister. Getting all messy. But at least he had some fun. It's okay to get messy sometimes. It was okay, wasn't it? We got a bath and got all cleaned. And then I got all covered in mud from washing him. <laughs> but it was all good fun. Oh, I can't wait to hear your funny stories when we get back. I'm sure you've got a few to tell me. And some news as well. I, I hope some of you have got some news to share. Maybe while you're at home, maybe write down... Um, some things you do want to share when you come back, things that you've done. Or maybe even write a diary. You could write your own diary of your day-to-day -day life, of what you're doing every day. And then we can share that when we come back. And you can share the things that you've been doing. So, we've got to keep going. And it won't be long till we'll all be back together.